What's happening everybody? We're out here at Pacific Beach, Washington with the Ham Radio Adventures Club. It's Sunday, we had a little activity. We, we grouped up into teams to see who could make the most, uh, well, just make an antenna. <laughs> and it's gotta be out of parts that you just kinda have lying around. So we're gonna take the Zach Tech Whisper Transmitter, transmit through all these. We got a buddy hex right there. We got a crutch antenna there, so we're gonna, we're gonna go around, I think, I think there's four or five different teams and we'll see what uh, what kind of crazy antennas we came up with. So we'll grab the, the results from the whisper.net uh, and uh, get this party started. Due to an injury at the Great Adventure, somebody picked up a set of nice set of crutches. Yes. We have a challenge to see who how far we can be heard on Whisper. So I don't drink, but a lot of other people seem to like this Malort stuff. Yeah. yeah and so day. we included a Malort bottle yeah. for our, a uh, yeah. vertical yeah. antenna, uh -huh. a base loaded vertical, I guess it would be, oh. using two crutches from Walker, so Texas Ranger. Out, uh, What's the. Here we got our. There's our lead in. Okay. You know, going up to the. Oh, you there's got the, the coil. The coil, I see. And up here's yeah, yeah, our. Yeah. Uh, Feed point, right. the feed point to our antenna. Yep. <laughs> Ground is just using... going to the fire pit. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And lashing done by Nate. Is there you go. Some excellent lashing. <laughs> yes, it is. Note, note how he held it vertical here. Yeah, very good construction, very good. And we're loaded up on 40 meters, eh? And we started with a water bottle, which Nate can hold up there. Uh -huh. And we found out that as we added the uh, uh, water to the coil, yeah. we were able to tune the antenna. We actually got it tuned on that, and then they oh, said, oh, we need to use this other cool bottle, so. So we had fun and we learned? A little bit. Get out of here. But then we decided we shouldn't add water or fluid to the stuff that people wanted to keep, so uh -huh. we just moved wires around yeah. instead. Great. <laughs> All right, we're at antenna two. We've got James here. He's gonna tell us what they came up with, so let's hear about this. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, we're team two. When the challenge rules say that the challenge starts at 12 noon, that means they want to start testing your antenna at 12. Not that you should wake up at 12 <laughs> intent on starting building. So uh, based on those time constraints, we uh, decided to go with a mylar blanket on the ground. We're not sure why, uh, but it is metallicized, maybe metallized. And then uh, our theory is basically as much wire in the air as high as we could possibly get it. Uh, we wiggled stuff around until the uh, analyzer said that uh, we had slightly better than no chance of winning. So, uh, and team what two. What is the radiating element made out of? Uh, well, you know, stuff. There's yeah. aluminum foil. There, I think there's some cardboard in there. Some gorilla tape. There's uh, at least a couple little pieces of like electrical tape and uh, string and stuff. And we're gonna win. Great. All right. May the may the best team win. All right, we are at a uh, very unique antenna now, so <laughs> Casey's going to tell us what he's done. So uh, I'd, I'd been fiddling around with, I wanted to build my own 49 to 1 ballon, but I thought it wasn't in the spirit of this uh, this little contest to use something I pre-made. So I used the same concept and wrapped, uh, well actually this is the, the outer sleeve bearing from the driver's side wheel of my car. Nice. Um, <laughs> And, you know, because I figured, you know, you can't really go to a hardware store and bear and buy, like, a, you know, ferrite ring. That, no. Okay, I need something to carry the magnetic flux and whatnot. Uh -huh. Maybe it'll work. What did you make the wire uh, out of? The, so the wire, the type of wire is, uh, if you've ever seen those, uh, like, dog fences where it's fenceless. Like you have a perimeter wire and then he has a shock collar or whatever. Uh-huh. So it's that type of wire, it's like 24 gauge or something. Uh, got the arrangement of wrappings and stuff. And then the driven element, the actual element is uh, a washing machine lint trap. And it, it's sort of this woven stainless steel, really super skinny wire. And I'm not sure if I want to call my antenna the cheese cutter or the lint liquor because of the lint trap, but uh, so it's it's a working title. So yeah, we'll see what it does. Brilliant, I love it. All right, we're at the. Is this the last one? Yep. Yeah. 
All right, we saved the best for last, which is our hey. antenna. <laughs> it's, my, it's my channel. <laughs> the I numbers are going to say. <laughs> so we went ahead and built a, a loop, but I'll have uh, Heath here tell us about it. Because we had you on our team, Mike. We had to ham harder. We did. So we did probably the hardest <laughs> antenna that we could, and we made a mag loop. Yep. By some miracle, using the two cans inside each other, we got pretty close right away. And so, uh, yeah, so that's what it's mag loop, tuning can for that and the loop up here, and we'll see how this does. Yeah, buddy. So hold on, I need to make the right pose to go along with it, get that SWR even lower. <laughs> <laughs> So unofficially, we have another antenna that Sarah and I built, that's Sarah. And we loaded up the uh, wire here for that's holding up the phone uh, pole. And we actually got it resonant to like, I think we had like a 3.0 to one on uh, 40 meters yeah. at like 7.04 or something like that, right where we want to transmit in Whisper. So uh, literally just connected a wire to the uh, wire there. And then we got a counterpoise and we'll see how this goes. So yeah. unofficial, we're gonna just see, because I was always curious to do this. Yeah. All right, kids, are you ready for the exciting results? All right, okay, so uh, we just finished up the Whisper Challenge. Uh, <laughs> I learned a lot about some of the weird ways of tuning antenna out there that I've never seen before. So it was all pretty cool, pretty interesting. And uh, the results are, uh, we're gonna figure out right now, let's see. The first one that we had out here was the um, the N8 JRT Malort bottle antenna. The, uh, the long distance was uh, 1,056 for the uh, Malort bottle. Not bad for, what, what was the other, what did you guys officially name your antenna? Accident antenna. Accident antenna. Next up we had the uh, WV5G, the oh. Mylar, Hodge, I the Mylar. I think hodgepodge I aluminum it. foil. <laughs> yeah. And so that, that got a, a 1,201 kilometers. Uh, then we up next we have Casey's dryer lint filter, yeah. Brillo pad. And so with his antenna, we uh, well, we got two full contacts there, uh, ranging uh, all the way up to 400, 445 kilometers. Freaking <laughs> right on. Up next we had the uh, KL Zero PC. <laughs> That one was uh, very unique. It used a Coke can capacitor. 2,001 or 2,225. What? No, no, no. What? That was per watt. Oh, that was man. per watt. <laughs> 445 kilometers. And then uh, the final one was the, uh, this one didn't officially count. K8 MRD. 1,133 kilometers. So whatever that disaster hodgepodge Millar, Mylar antenna with aluminum foil wrapped around that was not a disaster. <laughs> carefully engineered, <laughs> you guys are the winner. Congratulations. All right. Finish it. 